Hallelujah. 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 God says in the last days I'll pour out of my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and daughters would prophesy. Sit down. Glory to God. Glory to God. By a prophet, God says in Hosea chapter 12, verse 10 to 13, I take you out of Egypt. Listen, listen, listen. And by a prophet, I take you through the wilderness. By a prophet, I take you through. It's got to be my words that you will go through the wilderness. Do not be the words of man. And God said, gather. He said, we gather. He said, we gather. Church, take this. Call as greater than a call for a convention. Take this call as mightier than a call for a world conference. This little word gathering, this little word gathering. This word God, there's no greater word. The greatest head is who? The greatest act is what? Say it, don't be afraid, say it. Revival, that is to resurrect, to raise the dead, to resurrect the greatest act is revival. The greatest head is what? The greatest act is what? The greatest expectation is what? Come on, somebody. Gathering. Gathering. You heard the man of God said. A whole one thousand and one. And the new one get me. Come on, somebody. But when you are together, just two. Come on. It chased ten thousand. So the greatest expectation is gathering unto God. So the greatest head is, the greatest act is, the greatest expectation is, what is that? What is that? That's God's revival gathering this is it church don't go around looking for other things any entity or person go around looking for other things they are going to wander from sea to sea north south east west and cannot get it because god has already revealed it and God says in Amos chapter 8, verse 11 onward, he says, in this hour, there'll be a famine for the word of God. They'll keep looking because they have not heard it. Right now, millions of churches are, are crazy about online. Can I tell you something? The online churches are already locked. If you come out this week, I explain it to you. You will discover that online church is more light than, come on, than mortar church. Whatever you have to do, whatever you have to do, it's time for God's revival. Gathering. Gathering, regathering. Stand up, everybody. Stand up, everybody. Stand up, everybody. There's a person who is washing your hands in a sink, but that sink is dirty. Somebody going to wash your hands. The place where you're washing your hands, it appear clean, but it is not. The Lord is revealing that. So be careful where you wash your hands. Take it physically and spiritually. Glory to God. And as the man of God said, you've got to gather to hear. 
You've got to gather to hear what God is saying. Don't be reckless. And I, and I warn you, the online is already locked. <laughs> if God said there is a famine, is the Bible said that? Why are you behaving like it's not there? And I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm, I, I, I'm surfing. God said that there is a famine. I don't care. No, no, I'm looking because there's no famine. God said there's a famine. And he says the answer to this famine is to what? Every non-gathering activity, whether it be church, whether it be religious, whatever it be, will be a failure. The Lord is revealing a sister. Sister. And she's asked to cultivate a piece of land. Yes. And she's very successful. Yes. Yes. In the revelation, it says in one day. Yes. And she does it better than the very one who sent her to do it. Yes, no, I, I, I gotta give it like the Lord gave it. The Lord is revealing a large complex so big that there has to be a big gate at the front. A big gate. Listen, we only give a lot of privilege announcing these revelations on, online. They're going to come a time when we can't online because by the time we announce it, the cop will show up. Because what's spoken from God is dreadful. God intends to wreck the beast. The Lord is revealing a good person. You're in ministry. But the Lord is revealing an inappropriate date. Date. It doesn't look that way, but it's inappropriate. It doesn't look that way. I hear you explaining, but you know this and but uh, no, it's inappropriate. An inappropriate date. The Lord is revealing a sister, and she's like on me. She's, she's, she's moving through the, the waters and she's wondering when I'm going to get there and she don't see that she's almost there. <laughs> there she is. Oh, it's so tough. It's so rough. God said, look well, look well, look well. The shoe is right there. Look well. It's pressure on. It's, it's very, somebody said date. The, the Lord said, no, 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 no. no. It's right there. It's very close. The Lord said, me to tell you. <laughs> The shore is very close. Glory to God. I soon let you go. I soon let you go. Hmm, it's the last one. My God. The Lord shows. Lord, should I be playing with this? The Lord shows a breakaway. But it has nothing to do with you. <laughs> nothing to do with you. But that individual involving that breakaway the lord showed me that there's a lot of pepper coming to you the pepper gonna be so hot you go it, it's it's yeah, it's a lot of pepper the lord says you shouldn't do what you do there's a, there's a lot of pepper oh, the, the pepper burns so hard oh i ain't gonna say no more i ain't gonna say no more yes yes try to fix it try to fix it it's not in it is that any old thing of years gone by? It's, it's something going on right now or about to happen. Oh, pepper. You don't, you, you don't want to be involved in anything with pepper. Glory to God. That means, you know, punishment. It means it's not good. It's not good. It's not good. It's not good. If, you, if the Lord dealing with you in a ministry, go talk to your leader. It doesn't much mean, you know, it doesn't must mean harvest. Oh, 
will talk their decent ways to do it. Glory. And, and a smart bishop will send some people with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Dear pastor, come to me and say, Bishop, I really want to start a church. And I'm not late for it to be have a I, I, I believe God deal with me. You don't, you don't dare come to me and I don't send some people with you. Come on, somebody here. Glory to God. Glory to God. Just do it decently. Glory to God. Someone say God's revival gathering. Someone say God's revival gathering. Just in case we don't get the, the severity or, or the gravity of the gathering part. And you want to don't miss it. You want to don't miss it. You want to be sure that you got it, the gravity. Could you draw to the heart? Could you draw to the heart? Could you draw? You, you don't want to miss this thing. I don't know how to explain it the best way. But it's not, it's not like a convention card. And, and, and the coming of the Lord is nearer than we think. It's nearer than we think. It's nearer than we think. Glory to God. Glory to God. After, uh, after this, this treaty that was just signed, this Middle East treaty that was just signed in uh, our country in the Middle East, there are some pastors who are saying that, that, that you know, <laughs> they begin to time it and say, what? It's only, I don't do that. But, but it can be nearer than what they say. Did you hear what I said? <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to even call their time. But some good pastors, good, good men of God, good scholars, they say, what? With that treaty and they name their time. The, the rapture must come between that time. But we don't do that. But guess what? It can be shorter than their time. The day of the Lord cometh as a thief in the night. We already heard the answer is not to be individual. The answer is to what gather. We already heard. And Jesus said, He that gathereth not with me, Shidabakata Saba, scatter it. I told a young man in the past 24 hours, I said, there's a reason why God tells people to be careful of you. You try to damage God's anointed. Don't, 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 don't do it. Be careful. There's a, there's a lot of things that said. <laughs> if you ever hear, come on, somebody. What can be said? Not one person backslide. <laughs> stuff as, as, as the pastor showed us look dirty they did us start a whole gossip column they don't know how ignorant they are you know why Jesus said they have things to tell you and you cannot bear it huh? do you know why Jesus took long to say you have to eat my flesh and drink my blood it's coming and they have to do it but they couldn't handle it Whoa! So when you hear revelation, God's revival gathering, grasp it, grasp it, walk in it. You don't feel like do it, but do it. Gather, gather. Don't wait on big preacher. Don't wait on. Look, look what God do. Look what God do. No, we can't invite no preacher, no big man from Africa, no Australia. The cow. You have to preach to yourself and enjoy it. When you're bored, you rebuke boredom. So boredom, leave me. Let me love church. Look at Shaka Baha. Praka Shaka Baba. Devil, you ain't gonna get me not going to church. Praka Shaka Baha. Pranalabasi. Oh Lord. Help me, Jesus, to speak this thing. Help me to speak this gathering thing. God said, if you get this thing, you will be all right. Raka shataba. If you get this call, God said, don't worry about, don't let nobody get into your head. Don't worry about looking for something else. This is it. 
Treat it like it's not it. Father, in your hand, I place your humble people. Lord, I pray that this revelation you have given, Lord, as early as 1975, you spoke into the atmosphere. Ah, that 45 years later ah, it would be fulfilled on the earth where the churches are empty and the saints are no more free to be what they are to be then they have to cry I don't want to stay come Lord Jesus <laughs> come Lord Jesus the spirit and the bride say come Lord let this call let this prophetic call be engraven in our spirit in our minds in our bodies in the name of Jesus, I release it right now. I release his call. I release his mandate. I release his anointing. I release his mantle. I release his understanding. I release this interpretation. I release this revelation. I release this unction. I release it right now upon the saints. Lift your hand and begin to receive it by telling him thanks. It's the God's revival gathering call. Release. Yes. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Now, receive it right now go ahead and lift up your voice and say thank you Lord that's all you receive it you say thank you God thank you God because your word says I do nothing unless I reveal it unto my servants the prophets Lord I receive it Lord I receive it I receive this call I receive this gathering mandate in my mind in my spirit, in my body, in my home. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I receive it. Bring everybody that you know. You got to bring as close as they are to you. Bring them, bring them, bring them. The Lord said there's supposed to be a lot of baptism. The Lord said that. Because we don't baptism. We don't like what going to happen. Uh, bring them, bring them, bring them. Bring your brother, bring your mama. Uh, bring your sister, bring your brother. Bring your colleague, bring yourself. Uh, bring them, bring them. Bring them, let them come and get baptized. Raka shaka baba, raka shaka baba, raka shaka baba, raka saha. In the name of Jesus, I release God's revival gathering across the earth, in the east, in the west, in the north, in the south, on every continent. Raka shaka baba, on every holy church. Raka shaka, every holy man of God, every woman of God. I release, I release, I release this revelation now in the name of Jesus I'm done Mighty. hallelujah Hallelujah. Can we stand? Can we stand? Amen. There's a designated place for the gathering. Hallelujah. In the days of Noah, that place was the ark. Hallelujah. 
Amen. All those who went inside the ark and gather in the ark, they were saved. Gather at the right place. God's revival gathering is right here. Can we stand? Hallelujah. Are you blessed? Are you blessed? The gathering is taking place worldwide. Amen. While some of us was having dinner, amen, one of our senior leaders was preaching to Europe about the gathering. Somebody bless the Lord. 